Hello folks, this is No Face Plays and I'm playing Final Fantasy X. So since the last episode, um I got that overdrive thing I wanted, uh called wait, called Loner. Basically what it is is that when I'm battling alone, my overdrive will slowly fill up. And as you can see my overdrive is filled up now. So I'm gonna set it back to stoic and I'm gonna save my overdrive for something that's coming up here. Um, this area is, this area is cool, I guess, I mean, I'm not a big fan of underwater areas in this game, but you know, they're, they're, they're fine. There's not a whole lot of underwater areas, so it's not like you have to really worry about it too much. So basically, here's what I do, I steal a grenade from the fish. I guard with Titus. This is what I do like basically every battle against these piranhas. And then I have uh, this this girl use the grenade she just stole from them. And it overkills them. Now overkilling what it does is it doubles the amount of experience you earn from that enemy and doubles their drop rate too. So they drop two speed spheres. Two speed spheres when they were normally only drop like one. So, it's pretty nice. Definitely try to get the overkills, and thanks to her being able to use grenades, it's made pretty easy in this first section of the game. <laughs> Sorry if I'm sniffling. I got a, uh, I still have a stuffy nose. Alright, just use that. If you, you, if you use the save point, you don't even have to save. You can just click on the save point with X. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to press save, hold on. No, yeah, but you can just click on the save point with X and it'll like heal your party. So save points heal you in this game, which is great. Yeah, let me just bang on this computer, maybe it'll work. Titus, that's not how you use a computer. All right, whatever, guess it worked. Video game logic, back at it again. I mean, the guys who made this game, they worked on computers a lot, right? So don't you think they could put in the game, like him typing something into the computer and then having the door open? I'd rather have that than have a bang on it. Okay. Ambush, oh god. So yeah, again, same thing. Steal from the fish. Guard with Titus. All right, good, they both attack Titus, that's perfect. And then go ahead and use the grenade that you stole from him. Overkills all around. It's pretty easy, it's how I like doing it. Some people like doing it this other way, where you use this one move that Titus has called Cheer, and he just, and uh, basically what, what it does is, you can use it five times, and each time it raises your strength by one. I think that's a little tedious to do. So, I don't like doing it that way. Ooh, we can level up with Titus. Should we? Um, oh yeah, I did level up once and get the defense thing right there. While I was uh, trying to get the loner thing for Titus. If I use this power sphere, uh, I don't know. Actually, just do it. Because that'll be helpful in a battle that's coming up here. Yeah, with that, we should be able to uh, kill this guy. We should be able to overkill another guy coming up here. What is that? It's got tentacles. It's an octopus. All right, let's just swim back through here. Man, what a peaceful, what a peaceful area. Holy crap. Never mind, maybe it's not that peaceful. All right, so why don't we start it off with a steal? Um, let's go ahead. What you want to do is, well, to overkill this guy, you do want to use cheer five times. Because 
using since cheer boosts your strength it makes your overdrive do more damage so basically what I'm gonna do is cheer so my or so my overdrive is way stronger okay hold on let me get my I need to get a calculator out real quick what the hell where is it where's my calculator at okay Looks like he swam over there. Hold on, I'll explain this in a bit. Alright, so... Basically... He swims over there, and then you can trigger standby mode or whatever. And, uh... Yeah, but there's another... Some battles will have special things like that where you can activate those little things. Um, there's not a lot of battles where you can do that, but there are some. How many times have I used cheer now? Twice? Or once? I think maybe only once, actually. Do you want to go ahead and use another grenade? Okay. Let's keep cheering. Alright, use another grenade. I think that's four. I'm gonna use one more, of course. Because I need to get five. Even if I am one off, it shouldn't be a big deal. Pincer attack. Alright, yeah, this is the other option I was talking about. So now we can do a pincer attack. Now we won't be able to swim away anymore. Ow. So after this cheer, I'm probably going to use the overdrive. So actually, let me just guard. I don't want to risk, like, screwing that up. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on. We have another option. Uh, Riku, uh, hit yourself real quick, will that do it? Oh, of course, you missed yourself. How do you miss yourself? Oh, crap. Here, use cheer again. Alright, this battle's gonna take a little longer than, uh, I originally thought. Alright, uh... Great, this is definitely not going as planned. Come on, hurry up. No, attack Riku, you need to attack Riku. For my plan to work, to overkill this guy, you need to attack Riku. Come on. Heal up, Titus. Hurry up, you slowpoke. Come on, you asshole. Attack Riku. There we go. Alright, she's almost there. I just have to keep letting her get attacked. Please attack her again? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna just have her keep stealing. Because why not? And then here, let me get a potion on her. I'm not really worried about how often I use potions. Um, they're pretty cheap, and, uh, we're gonna get to a point in the game soon where they're really not gonna be that important anymore. Come on, hit Riku, not Titus. Yes, hit her. Her, over her overdrive is almost full. I think her overdrive fills more when she takes more damage, so I'm gonna try not to guard with her. I'm gonna try just to keep sealing with her. 
There we go. Got a grenade. Cool. Come on, attack Riku. Ugh. Every time it's just like, attack Riku, but then he doesn't attack Riku. I'm sorry about this, guys. My plan fell through so fast. If I just attacked him once more with, with Riku, trust me. His health right now, he barely has any left. He has like maybe a hundred left. Oh man, this, this sucks. Yes, attack her. Oh, come on. Her overdrive is almost there. Come on, man. Yes. Okay, we got it. Whew. So mix, and then just mix two grenades. There you go. And we got an overkill. I mean, with that, if you get her overdrive before you even come to this battle, you could one-shot that guy with that. Yeah, I wanted to overkill him. Well, because I didn't overkill that last guy. Plus, it's good to overkill the bosses. You always want to try overkilling the bosses at all costs. No items? What? He didn't drop anything. Even with the overkilling doubling the drop rate, he didn't drop anything? What the hell? That's so... That's so weird. Why? I was depending on him dropping some ability spheres. Because on the let's play I was watching, he did drop some ability spheres when the guy overkilled him. Yeah, I was watching a Let's Play, and the guy overkilled the octopus guy with Tidus' overdrive, and and he got some ability spheres. I think, he, I think he got like two or three. Like, that would have been great if I could have gotten those ability spheres, because those are hard to come by for like a good bit in the game. In fact, this whole good beginning, uh, be, the whole beginning of the game those things are hard to come by. All right. So what, we activated some lights on the ruins? Is it really just your average ruins? I mean, why is there lights on it? Hmm. What is that thing? Yeah, I don't think those are just, uh, ancient ruins. I think there's more to that than meets the eye. Airship? Okay, it's an airship. Because I know this ain't an airship, this is just a normal ship. Hey! I knew that thing hey, down there looked a little I weird. Out, didn't I? <laughs> All right, so where is this gonna start us off here? Oh, I thought I was gonna get the chance to save. Guess not. Uh, hungry. Still complaining about not getting food, huh? <laughs> hey, quit whining. Quit, quit whining about being hungry. Here's your damn food. Whoa! Right on. I guess that's your way of saying thank you. You're eating like a freaking mammoth, dude. Slow down. I get it, you're hungry, but you need to slow down, man. Look at now he's choking. What an idiot. Yeah, drink that water. You big idiot. It's because you eat too fast. Uh -huh. Eat the rest, man. Huh. Don't waste it. <laughs> I'm assuming he ate the rest. You see him pick it up there at the end of the scene and then just vanish when the camera turned? What the hell? Hey! What? Hello there. What is your name? Wow. 
Rico. Hello there. What is your name? Whoa! What the hell? You really do understand. <laughs> he goes from freaking out about being on the ship uh, to complaining about being hungry to being polite and asking somebody's name. Uh, why didn't you say so earlier? You seem very bipolar. You seem very bipolar, Titus. Uh, we? We? Oh, we means you. Oh, we. Yes, French. We, 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 we. We, 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 we. Okay, that's too many we's. I better calm down. We're Albed. Can't you tell? Albed, huh? Wait, you're not an Albed. So is that the language that I've been seeing around? Albed. Where are you from? I'll take a bed. Ha ha ha! You know what I mean. Get it? I'll take a bed. Star player of the Zanarkin Abes. I'll go sleep on my bed. Hit your head or something? Okay, I'm done. I'm done making bed jokes. Um, you guys hit me? Yeah, oh, did you hit right. your head? No you way you're a star player that? of a good team. Well, I remember 9-11. So I told her everything there was to tell about Zanarkin. About oh, life never there, mind. This is a Blitz different Ball, world. And Sin's attack. 9/11 didn't and happen in this world. About how well, kind of did with Sin there at the beginning of the game. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Wonder what? You're not going to tell us, are you? Did I say something funny? You're gay. You were near Sin. No kidding. What is Sin and like Sin Don't is worry. Sin like be famous? In no time. They say your head gets funny when Sin is near. Maybe oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan him. of Sin. I wanna go near him. Wow. You're so lucky you even got close to him. You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, <laughs> yeah. It's like Sin has you a sure? huge fan base. Yeah, there is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed uh, it a thousand years ago. Sin like puts out concerts so and no stuff. No one plays Blitzball there. A thousand years ago? What the hell? Huh? But I was just in there at the beginning of the game. Xanarkand. Wh wh what do you mean, a thousand years ago? Yeah, what do you mean? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. Yeah, exactly. Right. You're saying that happened I a agree with you on this ago? one, Titus. No way. No way, Jose. She's just pranking you. Maybe she's doing a prank video on her uh, YouTube channel. She's like, hey guys, welcome back to pranking uh, people. Today we're going to prank people. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. What does she mean by a thousand years ago? Does she literally mean a thousand years ago? Find out in the next episode of Final Fantasy X. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.